क्लास फोर आई एम ओ लेवल टू Mathematics question number 21. If motorcycle plus teddy bear plus teddy bear is equal to 1,986, teddy bear plus doll is equal to 2,385, and motorcycle plus motorcycle which is equal to 684, then find the cost of doll. Here MC is motorcycle, TB is teddy bear, and doll is doll. We can take these equations as equation one, two, and three. In equation three, we can find the value of M C that is equal to three hundred and forty-two. Substituting the value of M C in equation one, we can get the value of T B which is equal to eight hundred and twenty-two. Substituting the value of T B in equation two, we get the value of doll that is one thousand five hundred and sixty-three. Mathematics question number twenty-two. Kanul is playing a game of darts. The dart board is given divided into three sections having different points on, as shown in the figure. The score of Kunal is the sum of points he acquired after throwing three darts on the board. Which of the following cannot be scored by Kunal? As we can see here, if if Kunal puts his darts three times on eight, that would be the maximum value that is twenty four. And for the minimum value, if he puts his darts three times on six. That is eighteen. Is that is the minimal value? So whatever score he'd get, he'd get it in between twenty-four and eighteen. So the impossible value that Kunal can could not score is twenty-six. Mathematics question number twenty-three. How many hundreds must be subtracted from twenty-seven thousand six hundred eighty-three to get two thousand seven hundred eighty-three? The difference between the two numbers is twenty-four thousand nine hundred. Number of hundreds in this twenty-four thousand nine hundred is two hundred and forty-nine. Mathematics question number twenty-four. Multiply the multiply eighth multiple of fourteen with twelfth multiple of nineteen and round off the answer to the nearest thousand. The final result is first multiplying these two now digits will get twenty-five thousand five hundred thirty-six. Rounding off twenty five thousand five hundred thirty six to the nearest thousands, we'll get twenty six thousand. Mathematics question number twenty five. Given figures made up of squares P Q R S and two rectangles S T U Y and X U B W. Find the length of X Y. In order to find the value of X Y, first we need to find the missing values. Here, eleven minus five is equal to six. So Since this is a rectangle, opposite sides are equal, so this side is also six. So using this, we can find the top part of the square that is also six centimeter. Since a square side is are all equal, each side is six. So using this, we can find u and y that is thirteen centimeter. In order to find the value of x y, we have to subtract thirteen from v w that is. Twenty-one minus thirteen, which is equal to eight centimeter. Mathematics question number twenty-six. Which of the following numbers are arranged in ascending order? B option is arranged in ascending order. Mathematics question number twenty-seven. A library has three hundred and twelve racks of books. If each rack has two hundred and sixty-three books, how many total books are there? Number of books in one rack is equal to two hundred and sixty-three. Number of books in three hundred and twelve racks is equal to three hundred and twelve into two hundred and sixty-three, which is equal to eighty-two thousand fifty-six books. Mathematics question number twenty-eight. Find the missing number. Three into eight into fourteen into twelve into dash is equal to one hundred and twenty-six into two hundred and eighty-eight. That is four thousand thirty-two into dash is equal to thirty-six thousand two hundred and eighty-eight. In order to find this, we have to divide thirty-six thousand two hundred and eighty-eight by four thousand thirty-two. So the unknown number is nine. Mathematics question number twenty-nine. A barrel contains twenty liters, one hundred and seventy-five mL of oil. The barrel is emptied by into twenty-five cans equally. Each can will hold dash of oil. A barrel contains twenty liters, one hundred and seventy-five mL. Given barrel is emptied into twenty-five cans equally. Therefore, each can can hold uh, oil which is equal to twenty thousand one hundred seventy five mL divided by twenty five, which is equal to eight hundred and seven mL. Mathematics question number thirty. Sonali had seventy eight boxes with two hundred and eighty seven bangles in each box. 
if 1453 bangles were broken then how many unbroken bangles were there total bangles which is equal to 78 into 287 which is equal to 22386 number of unbroken bangles which is equal to total bangles minus broken bangles which is equal to 20933 achieve a section question number 31 Shivam's flight to Canara departs at 11:15 p.m. He has to check in at the airport terminal 1 hour 50, 45 minutes early. The journey to the terminal takes 50 minutes. He needs 30 minutes to get dressed and 15 minutes to have his dinner. At what time should he start prepping for his trip? Time required for him is check-in time plus journey to terminal plus dress time plus dinner time which is equal to 3 hours 20 minutes. Therefore he should start prepping 3 hours 20 minutes before the flight departure that is before 11:15 pm which is equal to 7:55 pm achieve a section question number 32 find the value of s into r minus p plus q in the picture they have given 87946 divided by 27 so let us divide 27 into 3 is equal to 81 87 minus 81 that is 6 bringing down 9 27 into 2 is equal to 54 and then if we subtract we'll get 15 and that is s bringing down 4 27 into 5 which is equal to 1 135 which is equal to 19 bringing down 6 27 into 7 which is equal to 189 and then subtracting that we'll get 7 so the value of p is equal to 2 q is equal to 8 r is equal to 7 s is equal to 5 so the value of s into r minus p plus q is equal to 41 achieve a section question number 33 fill in the blanks we'll see one by one there were 40 children at a party 14 of them were boys p fraction of children were girls total children is equal to 40 number of boys is equal to 14 number of girls is equal to 40 minus 14 which is equal to 26 fraction is equal to 26 by 40 which can further be reduced into 13 by 20 which is equal to p cost of a teddy bear is 2 by 3 of a cost of a doll if the cost of teddy bear is 114 then cost of doll is dash rupees that is q given cost of teddy bear is 2 by 3 cost of a doll and cost of a teddy bear is 114 using this we can find the cost of doll which is equal to 117 that is q next one difference between 3 1 by 4 and 2 3 by 8 is r if we convert these two fractions into improper fraction and then take lcm to subtract we'll get the value of r that is 7 by 8 next one if x plus 5 by 12 is equal to 7 by 6 then x is equal to s x is equal to 7 by 6 minus 5 by 12 taking lcm and subtracting will get 9 by 12 which which can further be reduced into 3 by 4 that is s this all these answers match with the d option achieve a section question number 34 nakul mehul and nayana were sitting on a seesaw at the playground which of the following bar graph shows the weight of the three children from the figure we can observe that in the first one nayana is greater weight than nakul and in the second one nayana is less weight than nakul and mehul together and in the third one we can observe that nakul is more weight than mehul so from statement 1 and 3 we can write that weight of nayana is more than weight of nahul that is more than weight of mehul option b and option d satisfies the above statement but only the d option satisfies the statement 2 also so the answer is d achieve a section question number 35 match the numbers obtained after the addition of roman numerals given in column 1 with the hundreds digit given in column 2 P is equal to 2710 plus 1417 which is equal to 4127. Q is equal to 1315 plus 1609 which is equal to 2924. And R is equal to 1599 plus 1608 which is equal to 3.
3207. S is equal to 1407 plus 1609 which is equal to 3016. As we can see here, P is equal to 3, that is 1, and Q is equal to 1, and R is equal to IV, and S is equal to I. So, the answer is A. That's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on post notifications so that you guys never miss out on a video that I upload. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.